the first thing you're going to do is log in to your WordPress site and you'll come to this page and make sure that you also have your document open that you're going to post. Then what you'll do is you'll go to your WordPress site and you're going to go to posts and then add new. Click on that and you'll just copy and paste. So copy, paste. That's going to be your title. And then select all, copy, and then paste. Then you'll take out any extra spaces. Make sure all of the formatting is correct. So you want to take out any extra spaces from there in the ends. And then you can you can highlight things or you can bold things if you want to. Um, the way to do that is you would just select it and then up here you can bold it or italicize it. I don't suggest um, bolding or italicizing things unless you absolutely need to. Um, just to keep the formatting nice and clean. You don't want to have too many different kinds of text or too many different kinds of, um, of colors in your text. It makes it hard to read. Um, and then if you want to change the size, you can use this heading so heading one, we usually reserve for the title. So I would never use heading one inside of this, the body copy. So you can use heading two, heading three, or heading four. So here we have simple vanilla ice cream. Maybe you might want to change it to heading three. So that's a little bit bigger. If you want to preview it before you publish it, you'll come over here and you'll click on preview. It will open a new tab and you can see what the page looks like as you preview it. Make sure it looks like what you want it to look like. And your author box is down here. Um, you can save it as a draft if you're not done with it. So you can click on save draft and that will not publish it yet. That will just save it. So you can come back and work on it again later. Um, and you would find that by clicking on all posts. And you would see this title there. And then what you want to do is you want to select one and only one cat category. So we have ice cream consulting here. I think homemade ice cream might be a good category for this one. Um, but you can change it if you'd like. And then you can add tags to it. So you can choose from your most used tags or you can add new tags. So I clicked on choose from most used tags and then kind of look over here, see if there's any tags that you want to use. Ice cream consulting, I usually always tag it with ice cream consulting. Um, uh, then you could maybe choose your own, so you could do liquid nitrogen ice cream, add that. Um, dry ice ice cream. You could add that. Um, you do not want to tag something with the same name as a category is. So never write a new tag if there's already a category for it because otherwise that will mess up the SEO on your site. So only make a tag if there's no category for it. Okay, and you can put up to eight or 12 tags, that's okay, um, but just one category, okay? And then I'm gonna go down here. Uh, I can put recipes, ice cream recipe. We don't have anyone like that yet. I'll add that, okay? And then what you'll do is come scroll down don't use this SEO options, okay? You want to use Yoast SEO. Okay, then you'll check this here. 
Make ice cream with dry ice instead of liquid nitrogen. Ice cream privately cuts it off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this and I'm going to actually write in what I wanted to say. Make ice cream with dry ice instead of liquid nitrogen. Recipe. Okay, so that's good. There's no cutoff. You don't want it to get cut off, okay? And then you can come here and it'll automatically populate it with the first couple of sentences or you can write your own sentence in. So you can say, learn how to make ice cream with dry ice instead of liquid nitrogen. Um, and then I would say, this, oh, how about this? This article is a recipe that shows you how to Make ice cream with dry ice instead of liquid nitrogen. It is a great option if you love liquid nitrogen ice cream. Okay, see how it turned red? That means I have too many characters. So I can say it's, see if that makes it. It's a great, it's option. Um, so, here is a recipe that shows. So you, you just want to make sure it's, it's not red. Uh, and then you'll scroll down. You don't have to use focus keyword. That's just something that people use to kind of help themselves. I don't use that um, because it doesn't do anything for the SEO on the site. Um, and then that is all. And you will go up here and you can either publish it now or you can edit, click, put, Click edit next to publish immediately and you can schedule a date and a time that you want to publish it. At that point you would press OK and then it would schedule it at a later date or at a back date if you want to publish it at a back date for some reason. I don't know why you would want to do that but um, there's not really any reason why you, you would want to do that at this point. And then you would click publish and it's published. Now it's published. If you want to make any changes to it after you've published it, you would just click update. I don't, after you make the changes, I don't suggest making changes to back posts, um, especially if they've been published, you know, um, more than a couple of weeks or a couple of days because they've already been spidered. And so unless you really want to make a change, you just hate the article or for some reason why you want to change it, that makes sense then you can go ahead and do that but otherwise I would say leave the past articles alone and um, just move forward from there um, so that's that hopefully that helps you um, post learn how to post WordPress uh, WordPress blog posts